During the very short Conservative leadership contest, Rishi Sunak didn't have to go out in front of the cameras. He didn't have to give any interviews, he didn't have to take part in any television debates. But on his first full day as UK Prime Minister, uh, he was plunged straight into the cauldron of the House of Commons during the weekly Prime Minister's questions session. Uh, he immediately got a question from uh, the leader of the opposition, Labour Party, Keir Starmer, about the economy, uh, accusing the Conservatives of crashing the economy. This was Rishi Sunak's response. We will have to take difficult decisions to restore economic stability and confidence. And my honourable friend, the Chancellor, will set that out in an autumn statement in just a few weeks. But what I can say, as we did during COVID, we will always protect the most vulnerable. We will do this in a fair way. But what I can say, I am glad, Mr Speaker, that the party opposite honourable gentleman has finally realised that spending does need to be paid for. Now, in his first speech as UK Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak made two big promises. He said he was going to stabilise the economy and also bring back integrity and accountability to 10 Downing Street. On the economy, he has now announced that he is delaying a planned fiscal statement to the 17th of November, and that has also been upgraded to what's known as a full autumn statement. That means we're going to get a detailed breakdown from the government about how they plan to spend taxpayers' money and where they are going to be making uh, spending cuts. Uh, meanwhile, on that other issue of integrity and accountability, Rishi Sunak is already getting some criticism about bringing back the uh, former Home Secretary Suella Braverman, reappointing her to that job, uh, even though it's only days ago that she had to resign due to a data breach. Keir Starmer, the leader of the opposition Labour Party, accusing Rishi Sunak of putting party first and country second, Rishi Sunak defending himself by saying that Braverman made an error of judgment and had accepted her mistake and that he could therefore bring her back to run one of the biggest departments in the government. Giles Gibson for CGTN, London.